NASA's next moonbound rocket is not just named after a woman, the Greek goddess Artemis. It is setting the stage for the first woman to walk on the moon and for more to explore deep space. We want to spend more time there, and that's riskier business. So the more we learn about the moon itself and the environment where we'll be operating, the better we can prepare. One major health concern for astronauts in space is radiation, especially during solar storms. Research has shown it can be particularly dangerous for organs like breasts and ovaries. So much so that for years, NASA let male astronauts stay in space longer than female astronauts. And so Artemis will carry a joint Israeli, American, and German experiment that will test a new protective vest called AstroRad, which could help humans, especially women, spend more time in space. Would you like to try this? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Okay. Sharit yeah. Schwartz, director of product management for the team that created the protective vest, lets me try on one of their demonstration vests. So I see that there's panels on my sides as well, mm-hmm. with complete coverage all around. Yeah. So this is what the actual inside of the suit fe- looks like and feels like. Yeah. Uh, the material is high-density polyethylene, which is high in hydrogen. And hydrogen is the most um, effective element in protecting from such kind of, of radiation. The vest varies in thickness from 6.5 millimeters to 65 millimeters, depending on the sensitivity of the areas it covers. Yes. Two mannequins called phantoms, made of special materials that mimic the inner organs of a female body, will be aboard Artemis. One of the phantoms, called the Helga, will be unprotected, while Zohar, the Israeli uh, phantom, will be protected with our vest. As NASA prepares to send the first woman to the moon, Short said that being a woman, leading the design on a female-focused experiment in a male-dominated field, is adding extra significance to an already historic project. It adds to the general feeling of doing, being part of something very significant. And uh, for sure, I'm, I'm very happy that it's um, contribute to the equality uh, between the genders. Adas Gold, CNN, Tel Aviv.